Hey everyone, it is Mike from the Relating Revolution. And uh, yeah, so I, I was on here the other day. Uh, I was on here, please feel free to say hello, drop a comment, drop a question, but this one's gonna come from the heart. I'm just riffing here. Um, so I was on here the other day, speaking about my cousin passing away. And that was a kind of a moving, a moving uh, uh, talk. And I appreciate all your responses to that. Thank you very much. And then uh, this morning, I learned of a friend, a close friend dying. And, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, that, that's, <laughs> that's been, it's been an interesting couple days. And so I just wanted to offer a tribute to her. Her name is Katya. And uh, I've been doing this 30 day expose your truth challenge. Um, and today is day 16. And actually the prompt is kind of perfect for this tribute because the prompt was asking what, you know, to tell me about, tell us about a team. You know, what is it people that have been important in your life in terms of team? And of course I have lots of experience with teams in terms of athletics and things like that, but Katya was a team, a team member. <clears throat> um, a number of years ago, uh, I was a younger man, and I still am a young man, but I was a younger man, and I was ambitious, get young, younger man, and I still am an ambitious man. But I was a young, young, ambitious man, and, and I was working as a therapist uh, in a community mental health clinic here in, in northern New Mexico. And and I said to that, I went to the CEO and I said, you know, there's no there's no family mental health clinic right now in the community. We need to build it. And I want to build it. I want to create it. And uh, and he said, you know, he believed in me and he said, go, you got the green light. And so we did. We read to the, we, we, we found a building we found and it was a, <clears throat> and I was the director of this program. And I said, well, the, the person that I need to have on staff is Katya. And I don't mean, you know, and it was one thing for me to go and hire her. That's, please don't get anything wrong here. She was the, she was the expert. She was the wise elder of the group. Um, and, and me hiring her was really because I was like, please, Katja, I need your help here. I'm, I'm running this thing and I don't know what I'm doing. And, and, uh, and uh, so she agreed to come and work for me. Um, and that was the deepening of our friendship and our, and our relationship. And, and, uh, she was always someone that was ex as excited as me to talk about, like, you know, we're nerds. We're just read books about the brain or about, you know, psychology or about, you know, nutrition or how to upgrade, you know, how to heal and, or trauma, you know, whatever it is. She was all, she was like, I don't know many, uh, uh other clinicians actually that are like that psyched to learn about things so that they can help people with them as Katya was. And, and as you know, and so she and I could meet together in that. And that was so beautiful. That was so we learned so much from each other. And I'd inspire her and she'd inspire me and she'd come into my office and be like, have you checked this out? And be like, oh, man, you got to check this out. You got to try this with your clients. And, uh, and it was great. And, and I just want to say, man, she was a badass. She was a warrior. She was a warrior in the in the in the most authentic, open-hearted sense because she never shied away from a case. I mean, there was we were working in the trenches of community mental health. Like there was some really difficult stuff we faced on a daily basis. You know, suicidal people and you know, violent, aggressive people and in difficult family situations. And she never shied away from anything. She would take the hardest cases that were involved child protective services involved. And I was like, I don't want to get involved in that. And I'm going to get subpoenaed and all, you know, and, and I would have these resistances, right? And I would do it, you know, but I would be afraid or I would have these resistances and she would just take it on. And she just, she, she really, really, what really was a wizard with children. I mean, the ability to help a child through trauma is such a, you know, it's different. Like I'm, I'm a, I'm a really good trauma therapist. I'm a really, really good trauma therapist. I know how to help people with PTSD. I know how to help, how to help, how to help them upgrade their nervous system, refine their nervous system to really heal and thrive. But to do it with children is a different degree of wisdom and skill and patience. And that's what Katya could do. She could do it with little kids. 
they couldn't un necessarily understand the theory. Like for me, I can explain it to the adult. Well, this is what's going on in your brain and this is what you need to do. And they could, and they'll do it because they can understand what I'm telling them. But with kids, she had to do it through just like her presence and through play and through creativity and through ingenuity and, uh, and through like them feeling her as a safe person that they can unwind these, these problems with and, you know, sexual abuse and, domestic violence and expose, you know, parents with addiction problems and just the, just nightmarish situations. And she would get in there and help. And, uh, and so I, I just admire her. So this is a tribute to Katya. I love you, your spirit. You know, she would, she would say, hola hermano. And she would call me brother. And I say, yeah, hola hermana, you are my sister. You know, because of the pandemic, we haven't really seen each other. I wasn't able to go and visit her. And, you know, and I know a lot of people around the world are struggling with that, with that same thing in far worse scenarios than, than me that with much more close relatives and things like that. I'm not, I'm not trying to take away from any of that, but, but I haven't seen her in a long time and was not able to say a proper goodbye, but she had such an amazing spirit and a strong spiritual practice and she's transitioning she died this morning so this is for you i love you and this is not the only thing that i'm doing to reach out and connect with you you know you feel me and i feel you and um and and i love you and thank you for being an amazing team leader an amazing colleague an amazing peer an amazing friend and we miss you and this community misses you and thank you for doing the work in the families, man. Wow. You know, wow. Thank you so much. You touch so many lives. You helped so many people. And that merit, that merit is with you right now, carrying you to where you need to be. Love you all. And for those of you that know Katya, you know, uh, and want to say some comments or put something in the comments, please do. Let's just shower her with love. And those of you that are hurting and missing her right now, you know, reach out, let's connect, let's talk to each other. And uh, hope you all have a, uh, a beautiful, beautiful day. Love you all.